uh, rummy is sex with a pirate, if we're going to be honest. Um, anyways, what's up, guys? How you doing? How you feeling? Uh, Drinks are good? Drinks are good? Yeah. Yeah? Nice, nice. Uh, we're going to change topics really fast, because I don't really have a transition or an intro. So anyways, you guys heard about gaslighting, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, it's kind of like the hot goss of the day, right? Um, anytime something like this comes around in society, I just, I don't want to fucking learn about it anymore, right? Like, last time something like this came around, it was dissociating. And look, if you don't know what dissociating, dissociating is, is when you're living in the moment, and then that moment becomes so fucking shitty that you just stop living in the moment. You just, like, completely black out, you know? Um, and when I first learned about dissociating, I immediately, against my will, started associating. <laughs> and it turns out that there are a lot of moments where I just went down like a few fucking uh, human Dell computer, just doo 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 doo, and survived the next four minutes. Um, it turns out one of those moments was that I saw my eighth grade teacher shirtless while in the eighth grade. Um, and to give you some context as to what she looked like, her big dream was to be on Jeopardy. So it was not a body that you wanted to see, right? <laughs> So when, when, when they were talking about gaslighting, I was like, keep it to your fucking self. I don't want to know. They told me anyways. And then I was like, oh, okay, so that's what that's called. Okay, yeah. And if you don't know what uh, gaslighting is, it's just successful lying is what it is. Um, and so and this is some bullshit because uh, it turned out that my whole family has been fucking gaslighting me the whole time. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Man, okay, first of all, you know who's been gaslighting me the most is my sister. Make some noise if you are the youngest sibling. That's what I'm talking about. I have four older siblings, they're all fucking terrible. But the one right above me, she sucks, because she was around the most. Um, and so, man, she would gaslight me all the time, but she was, before you like, wow, oh my gosh, I can't believe she did that. She was not good at it, so don't be too worried. She was a bad gaslighter. Like, first of all, man, older siblings are always trying to convince you some dumb shit, right? Right? Yeah. 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 Um, so, like, my sister, she tried to convince me that I was adopted. Yeah. But here's the thing. We look exactly fucking alike. So it made no sense, right? <laughs> Man, one time when she was in high school, I was in middle school. She tried to convince me that in the time that we were both at school, she flew to Wisconsin, ate cheese, came back, got picked up from school. Here we are, right? That was weird because, one, we lived in San Diego, she didn't have the time. And two, she was a very vocal, lactose intolerant person. Very anti-cheese. So it was a very strange angle for her to take on that, right? Man, another thing that she did, she didn't like mushrooms, but she tried to convince us all that she was actually allergic to mushrooms, right? So I finally bit one day and I was like, okay, well, if you're allergic, what happens when you eat them? This bitch told me she turned into a vampire. <laughs> Like, that's not even, that's not even close to believable. Like, you're not bad, you're just lazy. This is the world's laziest gaslighter I've ever seen in my fucking life, right? Man, okay, but you know who got me the most in terms of, like, success? Because she wasn't getting anywhere, my sister, right? Uh, my grandma. My grandma's getting me all fucking time, right? Man, she once convinced me that she went on a cruise to Africa. She has never left the, the continental U.S. I was like, fuck, man. The worst thing she ever got me with? Oh, this bitch told me she had no sweat glands. And I believed her. I fucking believed her. I was so mad. I was so mad. Because I was like, that sounds genetic, like, right. You know, like, how come I got fucking sweat glands? Because I'm a very, very sweaty preteen. And I don't like this shit at all. So what the fuck, Grandma? Turns out she was lying. So that made a lot more sense. I felt better. Um, but one time I got her back. One time I got her back. Cause fuck that bitch, right? Um, she was an old person, right? Hence the name Grandma. Um, and so she... Had to wear diapers, but she didn't want to wear diapers, right? Um, so she was very belligerent against it, right? Um, and so finally, after the hundredth time of hearing the same argument and just, uh, I was like, Grandma, the government is now mandating diapers. We all have to wear diapers. I'm wearing a diaper. My dad is him. He's wearing a diaper. My mom right there, she's wearing a diaper. You, babe, you gotta wear a diaper. And she was like, Really? And I was like, Yep. And she had never been more helpful putting on her fucking diaper in her entire life. So here's the thing. I learned three things from all these things, right? First thing. One, never see your eighth grade teacher shirtless. It will change your life and not in a good way, right? Second thing I learned. Gaslighting works. So if you're ever uh, in a little doozy situation, gaslight those motherfuckers because it'll work, right? Third thing I learned. I don't think my grandma was really gaslighting me. Um, I think she may have just had dementia. But anyways, my name's Elisa, so nice to meet you here with you all.